right, well, yesterday I went from Wisconsin Devils to Stevens Point. No, I did not have a full charge when I left. Uh, there was a freeway exit closed, so I ended up going about 25, 30 miles out of my way due to uh, the next exit being so far away and then having to backtrack a bit. So I literally rolled into the Sandrift Resort here uh, with uh, zero miles remaining in the car, literally flashing to charge now. Thank God it was a downhill on the last mile where I was able to coast most of that way, most of that last leg back. So that saved my butt, otherwise I probably would have had to get out and push a little bit to regen just to get back here or have someone tow me or extension cord it. Anyways, that tw uh, 5-20 adapter would have been really handy yeah, last night to stop and plug in. Um, anyways, drained it down to literally zero just before the car was going to shut itself off and got a 100% full range charge for this morning. Uh, now, um, I I was sitting here when it finally shut off. It lingered at uh, 209 and was saying uh, like 5 minutes charging remaining for about 25-30 minutes, uh, which leads me to believe that was um, uh, a point where it was balancing or topping off the battery, most likely balancing the cells in the battery. Um, as it also says, I have added 210 miles of range, even though it never went above 209. Um, apparently uh, my battery pack is not suffering any degradation because we're at uh, 6,900 well, I can't see my eyes are fucking hazed over. It's very early in the morning right now. I only went to bed about three hours ago. And the reason why I went to Stevens Point or actually the Plover area was to find out about uh, teardrop ca travel trailers that would suit the Model S, of which I will be reporting back to the Tesla community as well. And I think we found a keeper for people to go camping and RVing with the Model S. Anyways, as you guys know, I like to ramble. Back to charging. So, uh, on the 14-50L, it actually only took about six hours for a 100% charge. Um, not counting the uh, lingering at 209 for like 25 30 minutes. So we got I guess six and a half hours on a 1450 for a 60 kilowatt battery pack. So uh, I think the purpose of this video, just to reiterate uh, what was on a previous video, switch the formats over. I used 63 kilowatts to recharge the 60 kilowatt battery. Now taking consideration uh, losses due to heat in the chargers, um, inefficiencies of batteries, no battery is 100% efficient, no charger is 100% efficient, no wire is 100% efficient. At least not yet. Not until we go to the afterlife utopia. Oh, bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Sorry. Ah, distraction. Anyways, um, I would say that's pretty darn good to put uh, to use three kilowatts extra worth of losses. That's that's insanely good. That's right between like five and ten percent uh, of efficiency lost, or in other words, ninety to ninety-five percent efficiency of the car to charge. Um, Obviously, that does not take into consideration uh, losses losses due to uh, inline inefficiencies. So there you have it. I partially degraded my battery pack so you guys could see exactly literally exactly how much power one of these takes from completely dead so, and my 14 or 
5-20 plug will be arriving in a couple days, so I will review that too. should be charging about 33% quicker. So I'll have that review coming on the 520 plug, as well as a little adapter so you can plug into a 620 outlet. So charge at uh, 240 volts off of the uh, uh, 120 volt 20 amp adapter. Um, I also have another review coming. Actually, it's more of a how-to. Um, I'm working on a how-to charge your car off-grid. So say you have one of those poor man cabins up in the woods and you want to charge off your solar panels or off a generator. I will show you how to do that. Uh, I ran into a few roadblocks, so this is going to be a, e a tricky one for some of you. Uh, although... Uh, so far my conclusion is skip the generator, you have to go to the inverter, the generator power is just not clean enough. Anyways, that's to come. Uh, enjoy, see you next video.